Marriage has been described as living in love with your best friend. Love is one of the few constants in life. It is reality, it is affinity, it is communication. May the Lord Jesus Christ unite you and Shelby as one in Christ Jesus, and may you be blessed forever. I'm so happy to have you take my daughter to be your wife. Thank you for asking her to be your wife. I am so thankful for you to be my son-in-law. I'm going to freestyle about how I feel right now. Um, um, but the one thing I did look up was what the definition of a vow meant. It stands for a, a solemn promise. Is tougher than I thought. Ooh. I'm hot and crying. It's not a good combo. <laughs> um, but a vow is a solemn promise. So solemn is like, that's biblical, right? It's strong. It's something you can't break. So when I say these words, that's what I mean. Shelby, I'm going to keep this short. I promise. But the only thing I can think of is when we <laughs> take your time, Pastor. Uh, uh, um, when we became a couple and got fell in love, uh, you became my best friend. It's part of the heat, though, too. <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, no, nah, but you became my best friend. And I promise to be that for the rest of your life. No matter where we go, what we do, what adventures we go on, I'm going to be right there with you. I'm not going nowhere. So when you want to have a wedding in the sun, I got you. Okay, if you want to, if you want to go on a honeymoon right after the wedding, I got you. If you want to do something crazy that no one has ever heard of, I got you. Because that's what I'm here for. And I promise when we have little kids of our own, they can do what we have. I love you so much. So I'm today handing her over to Dalton, my headstrong, confident, beautiful, stubborn, feisty, yet loving daughter. I know you will make a wonderful bride and one day a wonderful mother. So here we are getting ready to hand you over. Dalton, ever since you came into my life, things have changed for the better. You've taken on so many role, roles since I've met you, starting with being my anime friend, to my therapist, to my voice of reason, to my best friend, and now finally my husband. You are truly the rarest soul I've ever encountered. You are knowledgeable, patient, and understanding. You're adventurous and authentic. You are so full of compassion, not only for me, but also for our loved ones. Before you, I never believed that one person could make me into such a full person. I am happiest when I am with you. And that, and for that, I am so very grateful, and every day you will see that appreciation. As your wife, I promise to love you with the same determination and confidence you've given me. I promise to support you and stand by your side through life's most joyous and challenging moments. I pledge to commit myself to you in our future family and the good that I know that will grow from it. And lastly, I promise not to drink all of your drinks, even if I am thirsty and your drink is literally right there. <laughs> I promise this to you for the rest of your life and until I am no more.
to you both, it's worth bearing in mind that neither of you will ever be perfect. But you can be perfect together. Being the father of the bride has made me feel more pride than I thought a person could feel. May your love be modern enough to survive the times and more fashion enough to last forever. Dalton, will you take Shelby, whose hand you hold, choosing her to be your lawfully wedded wife? Will you live with her in the state of true matrimony? Will you love her and comfort her through good times and bad, in sickness and in health, honoring her at all times, and being faithful to her for the rest of your life? I do. Shelby, will you take Dalton, whose hand you hold, choosing him to be your lawfully wedded husband? Will you live with him in the state of true matrimony? Will you love him and comfort him through good times and bad times, through sickness and in health, honoring him at all times, and being faithful to him for the rest of your life? I do. And now by the power vested in me by the state of Texas and before God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you both husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Super sweaty.